Hey YouTube, Chuki here. Uh, just a, I, I won't say quick vlog, because they never are, as much as I intend them to be. Uh, <laughs> but uh, I, just a quick update, because I, I did that vlog, and I put out a couple videos. Milo's over here, just FYI, that's why I'm doing stuff with my hand. It's not what you think, but anyway. <laughs> uh, but yeah, so I, I did that last vlog about how I needed a break, and I took that break, and then I put up some videos after that vlog, and then they just kind of stopped again. Um, it's a little bit, a little bit of the same thing. Uh, it just it hit again, and a lot of stuff was going on that I, like I said, I'm not going to talk about on here. Um, but it, it's resolved. It's fine. It's great. Uh, doesn't bother me at all so it's, it's all good um but uh one thing that uh did kind of escalate a little bit was just this whole i don't want to say drama but this this whole drama with the with youtube and the ads and everything being he just he won't leave me alone <laughs> at all <laughs> ever if i'm at my desk i can't do anything because he's right here all over everything but that escalated quite a bit and it, it's affecting me too like it my my earnings for for March so what I got paid about a week ago uh, was several several hundred dollars lower than it normally is and uh, it basically means that I pretty much have to sell some things he's using my mouse now that's <laughs> he's an advanced kitty <laughs> uh I have, to, I have to sell some things basically to kind of recoup some of that money uh so that i can actually pay all my bills this month um i'm not too worried about it uh, it should resolve itself everything should be fine i'm not freaking out or anything like that but uh it is something that i'm gonna have to do so keep an eye on my blog uh, for that and my Twitters, and I'll post all necessary possible sellings. Not a whole lot, just stuff I just really don't want anymore. Um, and I'm not purging collections or anything uh, like that, but just some odds and ends that I definitely don't want no more. Um, but anyway, so that was going on, and it, it just it, it was kind of that clicking moment where... Um, I love YouTube, I love doing YouTube, and I feel blessed that I can do stuff like this and more or less make a living out of it. Uh, but like the past couple months have, you kind of realize that it's not always going to be because things like this could happen and they will happen. So I uh, spent probably about a week um, prepping cover letters and resumes uh, and stuff like that to apply to other companies, um, mostly for, like, writing positions and stuff. Um, the one that I really hope to get is a copywriting position at a... Simplest way to describe it would be an advertising agency, basically. Uh, so I, I just want... I want something that I know I'll enjoy, but can make a living out of it and make a career out of it that I know is stable other than the obviously always threat of getting fired or something like that but it's something that will be there and stable and it's not dependent on uh, all these like advertisers and advertising revenue and YouTube and all that stuff it uh, YouTube is not something I'm quitting or anything like that um, it'll I'll always do it um, if I do get a nice comfy big boy job I might have to cut back a little bit to, to maybe like three videos a week or something like that. But uh, it, it's nothing that I'm going to stop doing just because of this. It just means that I can't rely on it to always pay my bills. That's basically where it's at. So uh, that hit me. So I had to take some time and do that. Uh, when I was ready to get back to doing videos again, I had a bunch of computer problems. I basically couldn't render out any videos. Uh, so that was not good, needless to say. Um, but the issue was resolved. I basically had to, uh, wipe iMovie completely and I had to re-download it and, 
and all that stuff. It was kind of a mess, so that kicked me out for about a week uh, as well. So, uh, yeah, not too great. I'm not off to a great start on this whole getting back into the swing of things thing, but... Uh, because I couldn't really edit, I did have a lot of time to record, so pretty much everything that's important, uh, is recorded, and it's not all edited because I was having difficulty with the software, obviously, but, uh, everything is recorded, so, uh, the reed suaders recorded, the reed buckles recorded, um, I decided to put the cockpit sets together, so that one is not recorded, just because I thought it was dumb to do two videos on that. Uh, so, so Ryu Suede is recorded, Ryu Buckles recorded, the uh, Poppy Gashat is recorded, the Heisei Rider Gashat set is recorded, the Koguma and Ryu vinyls are recorded, um, Q Thomas set 2 and Maximum Mighty X Gashats are out now, so you can watch those. Uh, so I think that was pretty much everything that was big and important that I needed to get to. Um, before this stuff arrives. So everything's filmed. I'm just quite delayed in terms of getting them up. So uh, there might be a couple days where I put up two videos. I'm not entirely sure on that because I do have a couple other things uh, to get to as well. Problem is I don't know where they are. They're over here somewhere. But the box is right down here so I'll just show you the box. Um, I did manage to get this. The Gombrai Zynga Shop. I came with a binder and some gombrizing cards. So I did manage to get one of these from Mandrake. So that is something that I want to do a video on. Uh, also, I did manage to get a Pegasus Qtama. So I want to do a video on that. Uh, I also picked up the Crystal Okami magazine, which I initially had just skipped on because I wasn't going to do stuff like that. But the Qtama addiction is strong. And uh, the Kujaku. <laughs> the Kujaku uh, Kutama is here as well. So Milo just decided to knock the Pegasus Kutama from my desk. And you probably won't be able to see her. There she is. Providing YouTube doesn't crop this weird. Bella's right behind my back. The Kutama just wailed Bella right in the face. But, because uh, Milo's a jack, but... Right? Yeah. Jack butt. Jack butt kitty. Uh, so yeah. No, don't hurt me. <laughs> uh, that That's where I'm at with everything. So there's seven minutes of this log down the freaking drain. But I wanted to unbox this. It's big. It's heavy. And it's full of toys. This is very heavy. I should not do this to my head. My llama smush ya. I'm going to smush you, buddy. You are fearless, buddy. You are freaking fearless. Yeah! So, uh, Milo moved, and I got this out of the way. So, we got that going on. Uh, packing material, packing material, packing material. Packing material. I'm gonna have a mess to clean up when I'm done. But okay, so I'm gonna start pulling stuff out of this box. I didn't like that wig, I like this one better. So uh, we have two more uh, Pokemon Z Crystal sets. Like I said, I'm not reviewing these, but uh, these are Volume 5 and Volume 6. Volume 5 is the uh, Mew, Snorlax, and Eevee Z Crystals. And volume six, I said volume six for the last one tonight, volume five. Volume six is the uh, three starters, Decidueye, Incineroar, and Primarina. So I have no idea if these are actually going to come to the U.S. or not. Uh, I'm assuming they probably will, but I don't know for sure. So uh, if you want these, I would probably recommend importing them. Uh, just because I don't know for sure if they're going to see a, uh, a U.S. release or not. So, if you're a Z Crystal Collector, uh, be on the lookout for those. And make sure you snag them, just in case. But, uh, yeah, there's no plate room on the plate that came with the Japanese toy. So, they're just going to have to hang out in a sack or something like that. Um, another Pokemon toy is these. These are the... I'm just going to have to forego the wig this time. 
the Mon Calais EX, uh, the Monster Collection EX figures. Uh, this is the Alolan Raichu figure, which I love. I love Alolan Raichu. This is my boo. Uh, and they come with the uh, Sea Crystal for that character. So this is right now the only way to get the Alolan Raichu Z Crystal. So I picked up that. Uh, not only did I get a cool like Alolan Raichu figure, I also got a Z Crystal. So it was a win-win situation for that. Um, there's another one somewhere. Here it is. Uh, it is the Pikachu. So it comes with Pikachu Z Crystal. Now, um, the next ones in this series are Decidueye, Incineroar, and Primarina. Uh, so, effectively, this set right here is useless if you want to buy the figures. So, I don't know if I'm going to buy the figures. I literally only bought these figures because of the Z-Crystal. But, I don't know. I like them. They look really cool. They look a lot cooler than I anticipated. So... Uh, there's definitely that. So I might actually still pick those up and sell this set. I'm not entirely sure. But anyway, on to another Pokemon item. Uh, the next Artifacts statue got released. Uh, Haruka and Mizugoro, which is uh, Mei and Mudkip. So the Artifacts statues are very, very nice. They are based on the game protagonists, whereas the uh, GEM series are based on the anime protagonists and antagonists. Uh, so I'm collecting both lines. Uh, I love this Artifacts line a lot. Uh, there's also the uh, Perfect Posing... It's PPP. Perfect Posing... Something. Don't know. But uh, those I didn't click with. Um, I didn't like how the Pokemon was kind of cut off and stuff. So I didn't end up collecting those. But um, I am getting these. So I will try to put some pictures of those up on Twitter or something sometime. Uh, what is this? Okay, this is the uh, Taiku no Tatsujin uh, Gashat. I'm trying to fiddle with the camera here. So the DVD and the Gashat. I actually watched all of this. Um, TV Nihon subbed it, I think. I think they're the only ones that subbed it so far, but uh, this is all available to watch, and then I needed the Gashat, obviously, so video of that incoming. Uh, I might actually get to these at some point, <laughs> probably not. The uh, Level Up Rider series of Paradox in its perfect knockout form, really cool. I liked the original Paradox figure a lot, um, but I liked the form switching of that figure. I was it's the best form switching figure that they've done in any of these gimmick lines so this one's just a figure so I don't know if I'm gonna like it as much but it's a really cool suit design I do like that uh, quite a bit we also have this thing the Qlet because we needed this in our lives uh, this I pretty much picked up because I'm basically getting everything Q Ranger related and it does come with the Q Ranger Q Tama because that's something we need, uh, and it was in the show, so I do need it. That's for sure. Uh, so yeah, I'll I'll do a review of this thing. I kind of wish it either did more or was like nicer looking, but I mean, if you look at the prop on the show, the show prop is just as ugly. So I don't know. It is what it is. Q Tama chance and all that. Um, yeah, speaking of the uh, cockpit sets, here is cockpit set 02. So this is for all of the ones that you had to buy. <laughs> uh, so Sasori, Tenbin, Hibitsukai, Washi, and Ryu right here. So Koguma does not get one yet. Uh, I hope they'll release another one uh, after everything is kind of said and done with like Koguma. Uh, ho and whatever they decide to do after that if it's necessary so i'm hoping i'm hoping but uh what else do we have here this is the dx para bray gun right here uh camarada paradox perfect knockouts gashicon weapon so we will be taking a look at that it is not the highest of priority items because the Gashikon weapons are kind of boring in some situations. But 
it is what it is. We will definitely be taking a look at them. I've got some vinyls here I'm taking a, out of their baggies. All right, so we got the vinyls for uh, Jean Bot, or Jean Bot, rather. They're all stuck together. So I got Jean Bot. I got uh, Lightning Attacker, which I'm so happy they actually made a vinyl for and decided to put him in the show, or granted, the mini series. And a Merriam Slugger, which... So this one is the combination between uh, Ginga and X, which is just really freaking cool. <laughs> I love this one a ton. And a Merriam Slugger is the fusion between Father and Son, Ultra 7, and Ultraman Zero. So uh, pretty cool forms. I'm glad that they are still making some new orb forms. Uh, Jeanbot is because of the uh, Zero Chronicle thingy that they're doing. Uh, I got, I think I got Glenfire in the last box, if I remember right. Um, it was Glenfire and one other one, I think. I was missing one, and it was Jeanbot. So, I'm all caught up on my Ultra Hero releases right now. Um, I will be getting Ultraman uh, Jeed toys, so don't worry about that. Um, hopefully, I'll be able to keep up with them this time around. Um, real quick, uh, the reason the orb reviews stopped on my channel wasn't really lack of interest. Uh, it was fear, kind of. Uh, the, the later card sets basically made it so there was so many combinations between the actual orb forms, various in-game orb forms, and then the, like, uh previous like legacy ultra fusions and stuff like that then there was like you could scan like five or six of them and it was something else and there was just so many possibilities i got really overwhelmed with it all uh and it kind of just went from there uh now i know jeet is fusions again but now we're using the ultra capsules and i'm hoping they're a little bit easier to manage and uh, i'll try my best to keep up with everything uh, this time around, I don't have to get the vinyl figures for the monsters this time around because they're just being sold normally. So I don't have to get in on the monsters. I don't have to do videos of those. So it'll be a lot easier to manage. I'll just be doing uh, videos on like the roleplay weapons and the uh, the capsule sets and stuff like that. So should be easier to manage. So hopefully, hopefully we'll see. Um, but last but not least in this box is... The Ryu Voyager. I don't have room for this in my camera frame, guys. Ryu Voyager, right here. He is huge, and the reason why that box was so big. Uh, so, yeah. Uh, really, really long, long dragon robot. That's what she said. And uh, the Koguma and Oguma Voyagers. So, really cool. Uh, I'm going to go ahead and actually open those up, like, right now, because I really want to play with them. They've been sitting here all day. I've been doing other things. So uh, I'm looking forward to taking a look at those. This video should go up on Friday. Uh, and then I will get started again on videos either Sunday or Monday. Uh, depending on like what gets done, what gets edited, and stuff like that. So everything should all be good now. And uh, y'all don't have to worry about anything anymore. I moved the box and here's Milo. Right on cue. Because I don't need peace. Nope. Uh, so yeah, uh, that about does, like I said, 20 minute vlog, that's normal for me, come on guys, you get with it. Uh, <laughs> uh, so I'm gonna go ahead and get through this stuff right now, open up some toys, have some fun. It's uh, 11.36 right now, so I'm just gonna say screw it and relax the rest of the night. I had a, uh, a nice little hefty day of cleaning up the living room and uh, looking around for some toys. I did not find anything though, so there is that. Hey guys, this is just a really quick car update as I am going out uh, for the day. So this vlog is going to be a little bit late on Friday because I didn't get a chance to work on any editing last night. Because I got tired really fast. So uh, yeah, just real quick while I'm going really slow to get out of this complex before I actually hit the road and have to turn this off. Uh, there's a couple things that I forgot that I wanted to address uh, in the vlog and just completely forgot because I don't write down anything. Uh, so what I wanted to address was uh, two things actually uh, Dino Force Brave slash Kuryuja Brave um, 
I am very much interested in the toys. I think they look great. I love them. Uh, issue being is that I either go for them now and get the Korean ones, which don't have the same voices and actually have different names than Kyoryuja Brave because they just didn't name them the same. Because why wouldn't that make sense? Uh, or wait for the Japanese ones via Premium Bandai, which is... I just stopped because I'm almost at the exit. Um, but yeah, so it, it's kind of a weird situation uh, in that regard. Um, right now, I'm leaning towards waiting for the Japanese releases. Um, only because I think mentally I would rather have my stuff match. So have the new stuff match the old stuff in terms of voices. Um, more than anything else. So that's kind of where I'm at with that. Also, uh, as I mentioned, uh, either in the vlog or about to mention in the vlog, depending on where I put this in the video, um, times are tough in, uh, in certain categories. Uh, so I don't actually want to do spend a whole lot more than I have to uh, this month in particular. So I think I'm just going to hold off for the Japanese releases. If I do get the Korean releases, it's going to be a little while after this. So, uh, yeah, it's going to be a little bit before I can do that. So, uh, just letting everybody know right now to hold your horses on uh, Curious or Brave stuff. I definitely want to do it. It's just a matter of whether I wait for the Japanese ones or jump on the Korean ones. But like I said, right now, I don't have money, so I'm probably not going to jump on the Korean ones just yet, if I even do so, period. Um, additionally, uh, Pokemon stuff. Uh, I love Pokemon. Pokemon's my main thing. Uh, forever and always. But uh, lately, they hasn't been doing too great on uh, the channel. And Pokemon's one of the things where... I occasionally get really good Pokemon videos, like one Pokemon video of mine is at over a million. It's almost 1.5 million views. And I have no idea why exactly, uh, but it is. And a couple of them did pretty good, like uh, 25,000, uh, there's like, probably a couple that are at 50 to 100,000. But lately, I haven't really been hitting those kind of numbers with Pokemon. I've only really been hitting uh, anywhere from 900 to, to 4,000 on a good one. Uh, and it's just kind of one of those things where I'm going to chill back on the Pokemon videos. Uh, I want to put a little bit more emphasis on Pokemon toys. Because uh, not a whole lot of people do Pokemon toy videos on YouTube. And so I think that kind of gives me a way to stay with my focus on toys. But still show some love for Pokemon. So I'm going to kick back a little bit on the card unboxings and focus a little bit some more on Pokemon toys uh, for now. So I might jump back into the card unboxings later on. Um, but uh, in terms of a lot of the Guardians Rising stuff, I'm probably just not going to uh, bother uh, doing videos for those. I'm so backlogged as it is with all the Toku stuff that I kind of wanted to just put my focus back where my focus should be and work on that. But... Uh, some of the Pokemon stuff that I've opened up recently, uh, stay tuned. You might get some videos on those. The Artifact Statues, the GM Series, the, uh, the Z-Band, the Z-Ring, there we go. Uh, and the Z-Crystals, those Pikachu and Raichu figures. Stuff like that. You might see that on my channel relatively soon. So, I'm uh, going to take a step back away from the cards and uh, put some a little bit more focus into some toys. So... We'll see how that goes, but that is all I wanted to update on. I'm going to be late, so I have to skedaddle. So uh, I will jump back to me in the past, closing out this video. So uh, thanks, guys. Appreciate it. But that about does it for this vlog. If you have any questions or anything, leave them in the comments down below. And let me know what you guys want to see first. And I'll try to accommodate accordingly. But, um, of course, the Rider and Sentai stuff always kind of takes priority over anything else. So that about does it for this vlog. Uh, let me know what you think in the comments down below and all that other stuff I said before. Be sure to like, subscribe, hit that bell so you never miss a video. And as always, thanks for watching. Take care and have a great one. And thank you for being really patient with me this uh, past month. It was, it was a month I definitely needed and then an extra break that I wasn't anticipating. But uh, I really needed it and I'm happy uh, to be back and have jobs applied to, and I can focus back on this, and everything should be all hunky-dory. So take care and have a great one.